Hello everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel today. Today, in this video, I was going to share with you about the, uh, yes, the dominant position in sociology. So before I let everybody study this point, so I would like to ask everyone a little bit that studied with me last week. So what was it about? Okay, take a look at this here. Of uh, sex. What is sex? So, sex means that uh, biological characteristics that distinguish females and males, consisting of primary and secondary sex and uh, sex characteristics. Sorry, yeah, this is called sex. So take a look to the next one here, genders. So these two words, it uh, the same translation in our language, but we uh, but they are different a little bit. Here, take a look right now. Uh, the social characteristics that uh, so, uh, society considers proper for its males, masculinity, and females, femininity. Yes. Yeah, right now, is there's all for everybody here about the revisions uh, for the, the old points. So, let us start it to the next, uh, next slide. Okay, this next point here is the dominant person in sociology. The first that you have uh, to know uh, the terms in this uh, okay, headline. Uh, so, dominant. Dominant, yes. What is dominant? Dominance means having power and influence over others. Yes, dominant person refers to having powers and influence over others in Protestant, in sociologies. Okay, I think that I don't uh, need to mention again to tell you about the sociology uh, because I've uh, mentioned or uh, uh, studies uh, in culture here, you know a lot about the sociologies. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I want to tell you this sociology again. I think that every, everyone's uh, uh, forgot about the what is sociology? Sociology is the front, yes, the study of human values, yes, or relationships, beliefs, and society. For example, the, our sociology is what someone is studying where they attend a religious service of religions that is in their own. This is called sociology. Yeah. Uh, the study of human values, relationship, beliefs, and uh, society. So now look at you. Uh, these uh, points below as so uh, separate. Yeah, male from females. Yeah, dominant persons in sociology. Are, we can say that refer to the separation males and uh, from females. And you uh, uh, know exactly here about male and females. And people are given different access on the basis of their sex and society's privileges. People are given different access on the basis of their sex. Okay, I mean what uh, males, uh, what things that males do and females do. Yes. So uh, they have uh, the society privilege by themselves in the society. And the next one, biology should influence males and females to be a certain way biological but that is not always the case yes biology should influence male and females to be a certain ways uh, biological but that is not always the case there is no uh, biological pattern that tells us that mean us always like this and women are always like that. Yes. Uh, this depends on cultures and uh, socialization. Yeah, socialization. Most societies still are male dominated. It means uh, this uh, male dominated is called, or we can say one more that uh, technical word for this male dominated, we can say that patriarchal. Yeah, patriarchal. Now let's move on to the next slide. Opening the door to biology. Opening the door to biology. 
the matters of natures which is yeah uh versus nurtures is often debated and also it is not easily settled. However and some so sociologists who take yeah who take the na the nurtures side still acknowledge that uh, biological factors may be involved in some human behaviors other than reproduction and uh, childbearing. According to Alice Rossi from 1997 to 1984, a feminist sociologist has suggested that women are better prepared biologically for mothering than men. Yeah, than a mean. So, uh, some say it is biologies as a woman can hear or smell better to take care of a baby. The same as I mentioned births, men may, men might, three, men might also be more physically strong. And no one knows for sure, and women can always be changing. Yes, women all, can always be changing. The same as the I, the uh, mentioned about, yeah. for example, of uh, Alice Rossi from 1997 to 1984, that uh, a family sociologist has suggested that women are better prepared uh, biologically for uh, murdering than I mean, yeah. And uh, she said that uh, women are more sensitive to the inference soft skin and uh, their nonverbal communication. Okay, now move on to the next slide. Uh, gender inequalities in global perspective. Uh, yeah, uh, some analysis, analysts raise, some analysts uh, speculate that in some earlier societies, women and men may have been social equals, according to Hendrix 1994. Yeah, and uh, yeah, but in most societies that is not the case today. Yeah, uh, apparently the horticultural and hunting gathering society as uh, that we really use pages. You can take a look to page one hundred and forty six to one forty eight. Had much less gender discriminations than does our contemporary world. Yes, it's calling at all nineteen. Uh, 93. In these societies, women may have been equal partners with men. They have even contributed uh, about 60 percent of the group's total food. Yet, after reviewing the historical record, historians and feminist gender Lerner, 1986, concluded that there is not a single society known where women as groups have this is in making powers over men as groups. Let's take a brief yes overviews of our sums of these inequalities. And yeah, you have to take a look at this uh, together. Uh, about uh, sex typing. Yeah the associations of the behaviors with one sex or the other. Yes, yeah, sick typing. It means the associations of behavior with one sex uh, or the other. Okay, right now, please take a look at this inequality of uh, are these together. Uh, sick typing of work. Uh, anthropologist jokes, Murdoch. Yes. Astrologist. Uh, Anthropologist George Murdoch, 1937, who surveyed 34 uh, pre modern societies around the world, found that in all of them, actually, are uh, sex typing. In other words, we have every society associates activity, activities with one sex or the others. Yes. This might not be the same in all cultures. Those. If you want to know here, click on this link. Yeah, to put a link for you all. Yeah. Uh, for example, like uh, he also found that actually considered females in one society may be considered males in another. 
In some groups, for example, like uh, taking care of cattle in women's work, while other groups assign this task to men. Yeah. This is called sex typing of work. Yeah. Every society has actually for each sex. For example, like one more example for everyone. Uh, this day, men. Uh, uh, Mint, yeah, this day, mint, always take care or uh, uh, separated uh, to look after, yes, uh, you can say cattle or uh, the building or doing anything that is harder and harder, uh, but females doing something is uh, easy or we can say that uh, lighter and lighter yeah and and take a look to the next one uh, prestige of work uh you might ask whether these divisions of labor really illustrate social inequality yeah do divisions of labor really mean societies are not equal for all men and women yes do divisions of Labor really means societies are not equal for men and women. Yeah. And some uh, sometimes greater prestige is given for uh, different types of work, and uh, most often it is held or given to men. For example, if taking care of goat is mean work, then the care of goat is considered important and carry high prestige but if it is women's work it is considered less important and again less prestige yeah or uh, to take an example closer to home when delivering babies was a women's work and done by midwives it was given low prestige yes but when men took over this task it prestige increased sharply. In short, it is not the work that provides the prestige, but uh, the sex with which the work is social uh, associated. Yes, work is associated. So to 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 sum up these two points or the first point above, uh, it means that we can answer to the question yes. They do, right? Do divisions of labors really mean societies are not equal for men and women? Yes, they do. Yes, yes, they do. So uh, now we move on to the next one. Other areas of global discrimination. Other areas of global discrimination. So now look at these uh, areas are uh, some trait. Yeah, some trait. Some states, sorry, some states of uh, also liberal discrimination together. Okay, uh, when we focus on the genetic state, we shall examine these same areas in greater detail. Okay, like in our country as well. Uh, education females are often discriminated against in education, and many girls. Uh, don't are uh, under love to complete an education. The same is in our country in the past. Yeah, I think everyone has known it well. And uh, the second one, politics. We mean uh, lack power in government and then means and there is always more male uh, than females in government. Yeah, actually in our country, right? But not, uh, I, I do not uh, focus not only out in our country, but around the world. In some countries that uh, are called, uh, uh, what is it? Are uh, called communist country, you know, communist countries. So for the pay gap, in every nation, in every nation, women make less money than men. Right? Okay. But these days do not 
they did not think of uh, the thing of this. When the, the women have uh, enough uh, ability to do to do the works or to do the jobs, they can uh, get the high pay. Yes, the high pay for them. And the violence against women, rape, violence against women like rape, wife beating, or wife beating, forced uh, prostitution, prostitutions. Yeah, females infants side yeah female infanticide and female uh, circumcision yeah are some examples others in many places it is again the law it still happens it still happens yes that's for sure in some country even though the country set the rule set the law yeah to enforce people uh, to obey uh, to abase the women's rights, but that dog, uh, yes, those cases always are uh, are very, yeah, are very fair. bad again and again, yeah. Even though the country have set the law to again or uh, yeah. Uh, about this violence against women. Yeah. So uh, now let's take a look the two examples about this. Life food bindings in China. In the past time, but is they I'm not sure about that. Breaking a women's feet so they stay small. Yeah, so they stay small. About in the past the uh, Chinese people of uh, I mean in the the society in the countries always say that when they uh, break, they set the rules or the law to break the women's uh, feet like that. So uh, they believe the husband in the families and the families can uh, work harder and harder and they will uh, be rich because the husband or the breadwinners in the family uh, work hard and they can hire yeah they can hire uh, the waiter or the waitress to serve uh, their wife in the family or uh, one more we can uh, say that they think uh, the women yeah the, 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 the women in the societies look pretty when he has the small feet like that Okay, and uh, food binding here you can uh, yes take a look on types at least to know on the YouTube to watch about this food binding and uh, female circumcision female circumcision removing it means that removing uh, the pleasure yeah removing the pleasures in sex for women by the matching damaging her body okay this one is common in parts of Muslim Africa and in some parts of Malaysia and Indonesia and also for this the custom often called females genitals uh, mutilations yeah. by Westerner is also known as uh, yeah clitorials existence yeah so if you want to know about this you can uh, press like this to know about more information okay that's all the points in this video lessons uh, so for I can't or I hope sorry I hope everyone to uh, visit this video lesson from uh, the first until the last I hope you can do this. Okay, goodbye, good luck.